Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Grandmaster Shaman and today we are going to be doing um, another episode of Fox Hime Zero. And in the last episode we finally got we got finally got her back. Oh, thank the gods. Mori is back. She's fully intact. But there is a threat that she might disappear again in the future, which I am worried about. It should be interesting to see what is left of this visual novel, and we're going to delve right into it. So make sure you click that thumbs up and down below for me, and let me know in the comments what you think of this series so far. And let me know of any visual novels that you'd like to see me read that are fairly inexpensive or uh, free. Um, I might do some ones that uh, you can buy, but I'll probably start doing more recent ones, ones that just barely come out, such as this one is relatively recent. Mori, I'll go draw some wa water at the riverside. It's sunny today, and it's good for going to the mountain and collecting samples. I have made it all planned. Mori is busy with some stuff in the house. I waited a while on the porch and decided to fetch some water first. So is Mori living with him again? Oh, okay. Mori's reply seems random. Oh, I was about to march forward, but then I turned, then it turned black and I fell down. When I reopened my eyes, I found myself lying on the bed. Are you all right? Your face looks pale. How long did I sleep? I sat up in bed, a little dizzy. Mori looks da looks at me in worry. I love how she tilts her head and the twitching ears. It's still great. I took you to bed, then I poured you a glass of water, and then you wore it up. Then you woke up. It's not long. I guess ten minutes tops. No big deal. I felt relieved, considering she has no sense of time. I should buy her a watch. It's my fault. Mori still looks worried after my words, and she gazes at me absently. That's all right. I guess I'm too tired because of work. Some rest will fix me up. Okay. You have some rest now. I'll go cook. So are they, they're like a freaking legit couple. Like, she's got to be living with him now, right? Cook, it's better for me to do that. No, you must lie down. You tell him, Mori. She holds me down after seeing me try and get off the bed. Okay, okay, okay. After closing my eyes and lying down on the bed, I'm thinking. God knows what particularly terrible meal she will cook. Close your eyes. She covers my eyes with her hands in, aggressive, in an aggressive gesture. Mm, her palms are so dry and soft, and they s have a special smell. Maybe I'm truly exhausted. My consciousness falls into darkness with such an ensuring warmth. Yan, wake up. Both Mari's voice and the tempting food smell wakes me up. It smells so good. Of course, get up. I made some porridge. That's totally different from... From the terrible meal I imagined, rice porridge is perfectly cooked, with which is soft and decorated with some green vegetable leaves and thin white fillet. It's so appetizing. I can't believe you made uh, you can make some porridge. You did a great job. You taught me, remember? At the time, are you with me? Yes. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. I love how she's just looking to the side a little bit, like kind of out of somewhat like slight embarrassment. Although I never doubted it, I feel extremely surprised that surprised that Mori admitted it. So you never left? Yes. Her face is even redder. Oh. So did you follow me to the bathroom? Of course not. You told me to wait outside. <laughs> She interrupted me furiously. I miss the feeling of teasing Mori. So much fun. Fuck you! She's so cute, though. I can't... I almost really can't blame you. Oh my god, she's so adorable. But it's lucky that I reminded her that time, or it'd be really awkward if she would have followed me. Hmm, so yummy. I take a bite of the porridge. <laughs> I love porridge. It's so delicious. Slow down, it's hot. I'm full of energy after having a bowl of hot porridge. The tiredness just goes away. It tastes so good, even better than my cooking. <laughs> Stop making fun of me. I mean it. Seriously, have some. I did, Mori murmured. I believe you... <laughs> I believe you saved it for me? No, 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 I'm full. Let me feel your belly, or I don't buy it. You bad boy. 
<laughs> it seems that she has been growing up while I was gone. I need to cheer her up then. Jan, are you fully recovered? Of course. Aren't you taking care of me? I'm great. Actually, I shouldn't collect the sam I should collect the samples from yesterday, but Mori prevented me from getting off the bed, so I had have to postpone my schedule. You should get some good rest when you're sick. In the human society, this illness is not an excuse for asking for leave. Humans are so cruel, aren't they? Don't worry, if you're ill, I'll give you a half month sick leave, even for the tiniest sickness. I won't be sick as easy as you. Mori seems thought of Mori seems thought of something and her expression becomes sullen. I see. So when you were sick as a kid, did you cry and ask S Sky Fox for help? You are the one crying. Don't be modest. I'm impressed by your crying skills. <laughs> You, by the way, I guess you cry a lot like la I guess you cry a lot ha cry hard a lot like last time. In that sense, your tears in the past decade might as well increase the sea level by a centimeter, doesn't it? What a fucking jerk. Just one centimeter? What is one centimeter? Mori tilts her head confusingly. Just this much. I measure the approximate dis distance with my fingers. It's only a tiny bit. As far as I'm concerned, your tears will increase the sea level by this much. Mori draws a bigger circle with her by opening her arms. <laughs> what a fool. Put aside the argument that I cry a lot or not. Do you know how big the sea is? Do you know how much this is? I draw the same distance by Im imitating her. Is it too much? The extra water would be enough to flood this forest to, the, to a trench. Really? Remember that little fall was almost. Remember that little fall was almost drowned you. That's not true. Stop fooling around. Believe me or not, I could take you to the seaside when I'm on a holiday. I guess you'll be scared to lose all your fur in your tail. Hmm. <laughs> Mori strokes her tail subconsciously. I won't. God, she's so cute. After the field, after the field working, we head back to the observation station. I go to the to check the fish basket as usual. Hmm, why are there so many fish baskets? Isn't it great? There are more baskets than usual. They are all set in the, in the river in disorder. It's obviously someone's masterpiece. When did you set these up? And this much? When you had your rest day. Too much fish are caught now. We can't eat them all. I was wondering if I should feed some of them since it's a big harvest. Easy. I'll go fi find Lord Skyfox to join us. Well, fine. You can always show your cooking skills off to her. All right, then I'm leaving. Where are you going? I'm going to get Lord Skyfox. Tonight? Certainly. Fresh fish are the best. All right. Take care. That's that's much fish will keep me busy then. Whew. After cutting and salting these fish, I decorate the dinner table and set up the utensils. Because of worrying Mori breaking the bowls and dishes, I stored up some backup utensils at the cabinet now that they're come in handy. Yan! I heard Mo Mori's voice from the distance. Here you are. Um, Where is the Luiui? I only spotted Mori. Here! Mori jumped to the other side and Lord Skyfox showed up with a d disdainful expression. It seems that she only... She was dragged here by Mori. Oh, I prepared some fish. Have a, have a seat for dinner. It'll be ready in a second. No, no, I can cook. Jan, you sit down. It's better for me to cook. No, I want to present my cooking skill to Lord Skyfox this time. Mori comes to me while taking and sna talking and snatches the kitchen wind from my hand. All right, all right. God, she's so cute. She's in high spirits. I withdraw myself when watching her bustling about. The pot is hot. Don't touch it with your bare hands. Use some duster cloth. Don't rub your dirty hands on your face. Wipe it with a handkerchief. I'm afraid she'll make some mistakes while watching her humming around like a bee, so I keep reminding her. All right, I know. You're so annoying. Go away. <laughs> Moi waves her hand at me impatiently. Ellipses. Ellipses. 
the atmosphere becomes a little embarrassing. Do you like fish? I'm kind of regretting after speaking out because our main ingredient is fish. What if she doesn't... She said she doesn't like fish. It's okay. Oh, good, good. <laughs> Although... Although her expression is cold as always, Liuli is staring at Mori with concentration. I'm thinking that even she doesn't want to talk. She is concerned of Mori. I feel kind of guilty on the thought of ta taking Mori away from her. Speaking of that, the Mid-Autumn Festival is around the corner. The town downhill will hold festival events. I'm planning on taking Mori to have a look. Would you like to Let join us? No, thanks. Hmm... Well, I went to visit the old gentleman, Mr. Wong, in earlier days, but the bellboy told me that he went outside. I'm wondering if he's back now. You're so nosy. Louis' expression became slightly mild after he after hearing of me talk about Mr. Wong. Just mind your own business. Oh. Oh, shit. Are they... They're still a thing, then? Now that he can see her again? She seems happy. I'm great with Mori. That's good. But I shall remind you that although she looks pure as the lake water, she has her own concerns deeply hidden. It's better for you to watch out. Is it? Mori has other concerns? I cast a glance and focus on her cooking. I will pay attention then. Don't worry, I will cherish her and I won't make her my own. Hmm, <laughs> enough. Oh, it's Skyfox. Yan, dinner is ready. Mori finished cooking and called us. By the way, Mori is not good at alteration conjuration. She might expose herself among the crowd. I have some tips for you. Huh? Not before I respond, Liuli went away. How will she help me? Oh, nice. <laughs> I like how this fire and she's just so cute. Are we going to the town today? Today is the Mid-Autumn Festival. I told Mori we can get ready and we will go to town downhill. Because of Leoli's conjuration, Mori's ears and tails are gone. So she is a totally normal human girl, except that she is absolutely more adorable. Damn straight she is. Look at her fucking cheeks. Right, today is the Mid-Autumn Festival. Mid-Autumn Festival? Yes, August 15th. You don't know about the Mid-Autumn Festival? What? It's not even autumn! It's not autumn until September 21st, let alone mid-autumn. Is it like, are you, do you really mean like the mid summer? Well, it's late summer, huh? You got a month left, June 21st, July 21st, August 21st. I guess that's towards the middle of summer, so maybe they mean Midsummer Festival. Maybe it's just a missed typo, because you can't have an autumn festival in the summer. It just doesn't make any sense. I didn't see that coming. Liuli never ta takes her watch moon. What? How, how boring their life is. I don't know. Mid-Autumn Festival is a traditional festival because tonight's moon will be more round and bright than usual. Everyone will go out to watch the moon tonight oh but we don't have but we don't we have to watch it in town right we could watch it here they'll be celebrating events in town it's more lively besides don't you just love to have fun at town but you just recovered and you really shouldn't travel much maybe we should stay i love how much she worries about him it's so cute i'm in good health now don't worry and i have errands to run at the post office I'm afraid that Mori will miss the chance of knowing special activities of the human word. Word. So I made an excuse. Is it? <sighs> Don't you need to go to the post office on weekends? It's the festival today. It's the same. Oh, then I'll get ready. Aren't you already ready? The town's shops. Oh, nice. The town's shops are displaying all kinds of delicately packaged mooncakes. Red lanterns are everywhere on the streets. People are hustling and bustling, and the town is brimming with the festival atmosphere. Wow, I can't believe there are so many people. Where are they come? Where do they come from? The Mid-Autumn Festival is a festival of reunion. Many people will come home to, reu to reunite with the family on the holiday, so there are more people than usual. Since their families are here, why don't they stick around but to come 
home until the festival. Because of work, most of the for most of the time, people don't have the final say. Work again? Yes, I also don't get to go don't go home for a long time. I'm thinking whether I should write a letter home while opening the letter I got from the post office. It's from my roommate. I thought it was my superior writing to to urge me to work. Roommate? A girl? How is that possible? Due to her lack of common sense, I have to explain to her how university's dormitory works. In a word, boys can't live together with girls along with the same let alone in the same room, even in the same building. Oh, so six boys live in one tiny one? But Lord Skyfox and I live in different rooms. Each time I go see her, I need to walk through a long corridor. You have a corridor? You live in such an extravagant life. Your house is so big. I see no good in big. On the contrary, I want to cram in a tiny room like you do. <laughs> That's not what I imagined. There... There is one of my roommates, he snores a lot at night, and it's so loud, we can't fall asleep. So we're planning, st planning stuff, is, uh, we're planning to stuff his socks in his mouth. That's mean. <laughs> we're actually, we actually don't make any action. Oh, Mori looks kind of absent-minded. She looks at the hustling streets. I see the snack bar along in the direction of her eyes. She probably is hungry. I open my pocket watch and check the time. It's almost time for dinner. Let's go grab a bite. I put the letter in my pocket. Fresh blue sugar figure, so sweet. After the after dinner, I'm hanging around the street with Mori and we run into the sugar figure below vendor again. Dude, buy one for your girl. I guarantee it's sweet. Why, why? <laughs> Like, whether or not, like, okay, so trains are in this world, like, but there's still wagons and not cars, so I'm like, okay, so this is probably, like, the 1800s, early, early 1800s, probably, but dudes, dudes don't say dude. People don't say dude. It's just not a thing. The vendor noticed my looks and began to cry out towards me. Last time Mori's sugar figure fell on the ground in panic, she didn't taste it, and we didn't come back to buy a new one. I can't believe we met the vendor again today. Do you have the fox? No. The chicken shape? I intended to buy the fox shape, but I remember that Mori is more reluctant to eat the fox shape sugar figure, so I changed my mind. Ah, oh, yes, any kind you want. I can make a new one for you. Please give me another sugar figure in the shape of a fox, then. Mori suddenly popped her head from behind my back and said to the owner shyly, Done! Oh, she actually could talk now! That's so cute! I thought you don't like the fox-shaped one. Yes, it's for you! She finally talked to other humans besides me for the first time. This is unexpected, and she did it for me! God, she's such a doll! Oh, man. It seems the sugar figure is indeed so sweet as the vendor said, my heart is also sweet now. You finally tasted it. Is it good? Yes. We kept walking in the street with one sugar figure on each hand. I feel all the people are throwing a jealous look at me. Look at those two. A simple fig sugar figure turns them into kids. Huh. Love makes people childish. Fine. It's not jealous looks. My roommate's paper got an award. I eat the sugar figure. What? That was random as fuck. I eat the sugar figure while taking out the letter from my pocket and reading the letter. See, that would make more sense to say first. This guy used to stay up all night and play poker, pockers with us. And we used to collaborate on cheating in the exams. He now achieved something. What about your paper? Mine? I have to stay at the observation station for a year. When I have the time to write my paper I'm, after I'm going back. If you don't come back to the mountain and stay at university, will you be like your... If you don't come to this mountain and stay at university, will you be like your roommate? I guess so. I would work hard on a paper and fool around until graduation. What about after graduation? Hmm, I haven't thought about that. I'm scratching in the back of my head while thinking of what I should do after graduation. Maybe I'll beg my supervisor to be his assistant. After all, the, soci after all, the society is too complicated. I don't think I could handle it. Then what? Then 
I guess I'll marry a younger... Oh, why did you not marrying her? What? I'll marry a younger student of my supervisor who happens to fall in love with me. That sort of thing. What a jerk! What about her? Mari stops asking questions after she heard that and she seems upset. Well, yeah, you told her that you like her. You like, like her, like her. So why is this? Why? I'm confused. Why are you all of a sudden not interested? I'm suddenly realized that I said something improper. Well, it's too bad. I haven't met such a blind younger student ever those years. But I do meet a fairy fox lady. I guess I, my wanting finally pays back. My waiting finally pays back. I'm such an optimist. Fox is harder to deal with compared to your younger student. She raises her head again. I guess she's in a good mood now. I find it inspiring. Shall we go back? It's near dusk. There are fewer people on the streets, Mori asked me anxiously. I I just heard from the pastors that there is an activity of Sky Lanterns releasing. Let's go. But if it's too late, don't worry. There are hotels in town. The worst thing we could spend the night at Mr. Wong's. Mm. The scene of the Sky Lanterns releasing must be a pretty lively must be lively and pretty. You're gonna love it. What you what do we need to prepare? Let's go get some lanterns first. Okay. I take Mori. Um. I take Mori. Walk with the stream of people, and walk with the stream of people. The sky lantern is a kind of lantern that could fly. Fly? Yes, it's a lantern made of paper. It's very light, and there's a candle on the bottom of the lantern. The hot air generated by the candle will make the lantern fly. Sounds complicated. In ancient times, people used lantern to send messages for long-distance matter. Later, it generally evolved into a tool of wishing, blessing, and during festivals. So, are we going to make wishes? Of course. We need to hang um, the wish note on the sky lantern later. After buying the, the sky lantern, we came to a plaza along the crowd. It's completely dark now. The moon climbs to the middle of the sky and replaces the sun. It's like a crystal gem embedded in a blue, a dark blue night. I wrote Mori's name on the wishing note and gave it to her. She will write her wishes on the other side. What did you write? Mori writes her wish quickly and hangs it on the, hangs the note on the lantern by avoiding me deliberately. My wish won't come true if I say it out loud. Huh? How do you know that? I just heard it from others. She lights the candle in the lantern while talking that's super superstitious of course it'll come true i reach my hand out to fence the lantern hey wait mori blocks my hand and releases the lantern just like that our lantern floats to the sky unsteadily the lantern around us also flutter in, uh, to the sky gradually god she's so pretty suddenly the sky and the earth seems reversed a glowing fall and cascading to the sky Oh, man, the music. The lights all over the sky co converge into a splendid Milky Way, overshadowing the stars and moon. The whole night sky is lit up. Mori is enthralled by the sky. I look around. Most of the people are couples. But this time, I do not envy them. It's time for them to envy me. Oh, man. Mori stays still in the same posture, looking up at the sky, and I stare at her. Mori looks mundane against the candlelight and moonlight compared to the, compared to the one at the night bleh, at the night of the forest she's no longer that unreal and far away she's a treasure granted by god i will cherish this the moment no matter what happens in the future Yan, do you know where the the lantern's going where of course the I want to I try to explain it to Mori. The lanterns will fly into the air where the candles will run and they'll fall off. They will fly all the way to the palace of the moon. Is that is it? That sounds remote. Could they make it? Of course. They could. Besides, the goddess of the palace will see our w n wish note and realize our dreams. Mori smiles after hearing my explanation. She doesn't talk then. Her eyes are fixed at the sky as if chasing our lantern. I also look at the sky in the same direction, but that's bewildering. Could you tell which one's our lantern? Sure, that's true. She can. 
she's been con concentrating and her eyes have been flowing with uh, following our wish. Wait, come back. I really liked that scene. She probably she probably like wants to stay with him forever or something. <sighs> She's so pure and cute. Mori, I'm getting up. I reminded Mori to get up as usual, but she didn't respond. Is she too tired to get up because of yesterday? I look at the bed. Her quilt is folded in order. Is she, is she up already? Why didn't she call me? I mumbled while dressing up. Mori seems to have gone out. Maybe she's preparing breakfast. I walk out of the cabin, but there's no fire outside. Mori? I shout towards the river, but there's no response. All I hear is an echo and birds flapping. That's strange. Where did she go? Wait, 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 she's gone again? But, uh, uh, this soon? I come back to the cabin and check the desk and bed carefully. She might have left me a message and went out for an emergency. Weird. I look everywhere that there's no message. Is it possible that, is it possible that Liuli's spell has any se sequels? It's useless to guess. I better go find Liuli. I try to remember the road that Mori took me on, on that day. It should be in this direction. I take out the map to compare. What do you mean? She's gone? The music is scary. Why? I'm just... I can't believe it. Already? I march forward and the view around me is constantly changing, but that's what I had in my memory. It should be the right path. This is where Mori and, and I met Leoli back then. Mori once told me Leoli hides the shine so humans can't enter. Lord Skyfox, Lord Leoli! I kept shouting and circling around. Freeze! A voice came through. I turned back and see Lord Skyfox with an unpatient face. Stop yelling! Where are your manners? Does Mori come back to the shrine? Isn't she with you? Did you lose her? She isn't at the shrine? Well, I can't believe I was persuaded by your big talk. You are... I was with her yesterday, but she's gone this morning and left no message. Is it possible that your spell's gone wrong? How dare you question me? Why don't you reflect yourself first? What did you do? Me? I did nothing. We spent the mid-autumn day festival yesterday. It's your own problem. Just figure it out. I'll go water the flowers. Hey, wait! Plus, stop making a fuss. Go somewhere, my birds are scared away. After that, Leuli turns and disappears, leaving no time for me to respond. Wait, are you sure your spell is fine? She must have gone too far. I keep shouting in a hurry. Shut up! If you keep shouting, you will not be able to see her again. Sorry, I didn't mean to bother you, but I really don't know what to do now. Mori has just disappeared abruptly. I had a panic attack. I don't see any clue. Please help me, Lord Fox. You two are so annoying. Well, you could think of it from an, another perspective. Maybe she's ha had an epiphany and she doesn't want to be with you anymore. Fuck. No, she wouldn't. I believe her. We, we've we been through a lot together. She wouldn't ditch me. Hmm. You didn't fall for that. Hmm. I'm, talk I'm talking business with you here. Why are you playing with me? Then use your smart brain and do some analysis. That's what you. That's why I came to you for help. My fault, you're not smart. Maybe she just went out to have fun. Have fun? You mean she went to have fun? She only has you and me in her world. She's not here, not at your place. The only explanation is she went out to have fun. That simple? Don't think deeply. Just forget what I reminded you. Don't forget what I reminded you of before. Don't shout. What? Leoli vanishes and I'm still puzzled. Have fun. Where did she go? I scratch my head and organize my thoughts and open the map. The places Mori might go. I begin to analyze the map. This is the first spot that comes to mind. Though Mori said she dislikes the trees, he, the sm trees smell here. We do have a precious memory here. It is here that I found myself falling in love with the little fox. What's more exciting is that she is glad to accept me. You say that, but you didn't even you didn't even think once about the possibility of being with her forever. You're just like, well, I'll eventually go back and I'll live my life and I'll get married and uh, I'll be gone. 
You, you're a fucking idiot. I walk into the meadow. Flowers are blooming as before. Maury? I call her name softly, but there's only rustling sound of the leaves caused by the breeze. She's not here. This is Maury's secret base. She said she enjoys the hot spring bath here. And here, we realized our our first cooperation program in which we witnessed a complete trust of each other. Watching the sparkling water, there was no Mori who soaks inside with her eyes turning around and tries to find where I am. She is not here. This tree is familiar to me. Mori used to secretly observe me behind this tree. That time, her big tail was swinging behind the tree and she got exposed and I caught her in no time. Mori, I called out gently towards the tree. She's also not here. After looking at all the spots I could think of, I returned to the observation station with my tired body. Mori still doesn't come back. Where on earth did she go? What's bothering her? The book she reads still lies on the, in the blanket near the desk. As if she is here last second, reading the book and always talking to me. My sight comes back to the desk. There are there is a handbook, an old water stain on the cover. I remember I put the handbook outside to dry. It was Mori who took it back. I was terrified by her at that time. Speaking of that, she had the handbook. She and the handbook has a good story. The wet handbook in or I wet the handbook in order to save her. It's been a long time that I don't remember. I, it's been a long time that I don't open the handbook. I sigh and relax a bit, throwing my heavy body on the chair. I open the handbook. This is... I should have known. I almost forget what I have drawn in my handbook. Back then I was observing the plants in the waterfall and I saw a pretty little fox bouncing about. I was attracted by her briskness and it was... Oh, man. It was like that I possessed, I put, like I was possessed, I put aside the work and began to doodle in the blank page. While I was fascinated in drawing, I heard a plump, and I lifted my head, and the fox was gone. I instantly stood up and looked for her. The handbook slipped from my hand, fell on the rock, and slid over the riverside. My eyes fell on the little fox in the river with the handbook, so I never finished the sketch. I stared at that half-finished picture of Maury. That's it. This place. I slap the table and storm out. How could I miss this place? How come I've never thought of it earlier? This is the first place Mori and I met. And the starting point where our destinies intertwined. I have a strong feeling she must be there. Is that little black spot? Oh, she looks so sad. It's true she is here. I stop myself to calm down. I watch her back in the distance. In my eyes, she curls her tiny hairball motionless her eyes are not cocking as usual her tear curls on the ground spiritlessly Mori what's on your mind I whispered I think of Leoli's remind what exactly did I neglect forget about it random guessing is no use I take a deep breath and walk toward Mori step by step what are you looking I walk up to Mori back I walk to Mori's back quietly and hold her. Yes. Eh? Mori is shocked, by it, but then relaxes. Jan, what are you doing here? Because you're here. Mori ellipses. She didn't reply, I, but I could feel her body trembling. What's wrong? Ellipses. Did you run into some trouble? Ellipses. Is it because of me? Ellipses. She doesn't say a word and just shakes her head. Could you talk to me? Is it not your words that being together is not only sharing happiness, but also the pain? I... There's something wrong with her voice. I tighten my arms involuntarily around her harder. I'm scared. Scared of what? I'm scared of being with you. What? Me? What if you didn't run into me here? What? Why are you saying so? If you didn't meet me... You could be like normal people, like your classmates. You can live a normal life. Oh my god, she's sad, she's sad because she's taking away from his normal life. <sighs> she's so cute. 
share your happiness with normal people. But me, I'm your burden. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Because when I'm around you, I can't. you can't be like a normal human. No. When I'm with you, you lose everything in a normal human's life. I don't want to be like this. I don't want you to sacrifice this much for me. Because of me, your... You work, exhaust, collapse? I'm so scared once I think of that. Yan, I... No, you're not my burden. You're the love of my life. I've ne I never sacrifice or lose anything because of you. The work and tiredness make me happy. It's the happiness we share. The joy day joyous days I spend with you is my greatest happiness. Without you, the mundane happy life is hell to me. But falling in love with you has spent all my affection of my life. To be with you has spent all the luck of my life. Jan, am I truly your right choice? Of course. But I might disappear. Didn't I tell you? Separation is not forever. No matter where and when, no matter how many years, I will keep looking for you. Keep waiting for you. Is it worthy? Yes. I believe you will always be my... Because you will... I believe you will always be by my side. And after that, Mori falls into silence. I wait for her response patiently. I trust her. Wait. What's her response? Why is it all fading away? Why is it all why is it doing that? I don't know what that says. Ugh. Why is it... I'm confused. What is this? I think I are 2018. Oh, here we go. You know, we fox have a longer... We fox have a longer life. Yes, far longer than mine. So if we decide to be together, I don't just want one life <laughs> that's even better i don't want to make i don't need to make effort to fall in love with others in my next life i laughed no matter how many time no matter how many lives as long as we're together you are foolish you know better than me i hold more maury tightly and feel her body with all my heart and soul i cast a sideways glance at the class the clouds and mist of the sky gradually melting away in the setting sun. It's the same in, with our future. Finn. Hmm. I gotta say, that was pretty good. I, I mean... Yep. I enjoyed it. You know, I'm not really one that really likes um, visual novels that don't have choices. I really like the multiple endings that a lot of visual novels have, and I like being able to choose which direction I follow. But this just being a calm and relaxing story between, you know, the main character, Jan and Mori, and a really cute relationship, I think... All things considered, it was a pretty solid and cute visual novel. Nothing too crazy, but enough to actually get me interested and play this all, um, you know, in one sitting. So, I really think that uh, this is a pretty good game. It's it's not very expensive. It's pretty inexpensive on the Steam store. Um, so, I... I mean, if you guys enjoy cute stories and you want to re read it again, um, you know, perhaps with less mess-ups on the opening title screen, though I might, um, I might, if you, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, then I've edited it to put the title screen in, which I might, I'm probably going to do, but originally it was, it was kind of messed up, but, um, 
yeah, so if you like this, make sure you click that thumbs up button down below for me. Leave a comment. What did you think of Zero Fox Hime or Fox Hime Zero or whatever? It, it, the, it says Fox Hime Zero on the top part. It says Zero Fox Hime right there. Whatever it is, but I think it was a pretty solid uh, visual novel, all things considered. And um, so make sure you let me know what your thoughts are, and uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, go back and check out my other visual novel playthroughs and whatnot, and we'll see you then.